Hey guys, today I want to talk about supporting your local game store and why it is so important. Uh, I have been to many game stores ever since I went to Houston. The first thing I did was I tried to find a game store that I could you know, call my second home. And I'll go back all the way to when I was in Williamsburg, Virginia, and we had a place called Groovy Geckos. It's since it's then it was called Phoenix Games, Phoenix Games Reborn, and then the completely collapsed and then the only other game store where the one judge in the whole town lived in was a sports collectible uh, after hours they would play ed8s a great group of guys but for the most part it was that one store and you make a lot of friends and the great thing about magic is you make friends from all different walks of life uh, when i work in i work in software i work in marketing so it's only like people with marketing degrees, only developers. Developers can be very unique and very uh, different in personalities, but for the most part, everyone has a degree. Everyone is a certain, makes a certain income. And that's kind of, that is very boring to me because if you only hang out with people, uh, and the same with when you go to college, right? You only hang out with people in your college and everyone in your college who graduates has the same degree as you. Are the same you know certificate as you uh, the same one with grad school so i went to grad school everyone from my grad school is pretty much doing the same thing right now uh, besides me i took a different route because that's how i've always been i didn't want to go the legal route um, so i didn't want to open my own law firm i didn't want to work for someone else's law firm i didn't want to do any of that type of stuff because i said you know what i want to do marketing and i love marketing so why not uh, do that. Although, you know, I passed the patent bar before I turned 21 or when I turned 21, which is a very interesting feat. I can tell you not too many people can do that. So you meet people who are in your, you know, social, who socially, um, your friends with a friend, like I just hang out with the same people. But when you go to Magic, I think one of the best parts about Magic is you get to meet people from all ages, all walks of life. Uh, they do all types of stuff. Uh, one of our friends is a doctor. He plays magic with us. Uh, well, the doctor's playing magic with you know twelve year olds. You know he's asking who want to be doctors when they grow up, uh, and it's fascinating as well as just amazing experience because um, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Everyone goes there and they enjoy magic. Otherwise, they wouldn't spend their Friday nights at that at you know at the game store. And you can meet friends. You know I. At the group of geckos, we had a person who worked at Target, we had a person who worked at Chili's at that time. I was a student in grad school. Uh, there was two other students in the undergrad. One was a vet, was going to be a vet. The other one was going to go into like Wall Street. Um, and then we had a, a dude who just, I guess he was a serial entrepreneur. He just opened just whatever. And like every few months he would open a different store. And it's uh, at the current um, place that I play at there's people from just such a diversity in people and that's you know why I think you should support your local game store because when you get older uh, when you're in high school you feel like oh man so many different people I want to really fit in and then when you go to college you kind of fit in because everyone in your college is the same age as you and generally more liberal in nature like when, what they believe in uh, because they go to college right not everyone gets an education so if you're lucky enough to get one and you're lucky enough to pay for one and afford one then you're meeting similar minds but magic the gathering at the local game store it is just you know it's such a good slice of life it's kind of like the anime slice of life i love you know that particular genre the most it, it's just it's how other people live and i've always found that fascinating because you know, my, my set of friends, they tend to be, um, you know, doctors and lawyers, people on Wall Street, things like this. Cause I went to NYU for college and then I went to a good law school. Um, so, but I've always been fascinating in helping, you know, business owners, helping small customers, like, cause that's what I do. And that's why I chose marketing over something that could possibly potentially make me more money. I'm pretty sure it would make me more money because I actually worked the largest law firm of that nature uh, even before i went to law school and that's why i enjoy it about magic is you get to talk with people from with all different types of experiences and that is that slice of life that's why 
that in my opinion is amazing um, and something that I look forward to because I have no idea if I'm sitting across a 12 year old, I'm sitting across an 18 year old who's making his college choices, give him a little bit of advice, you know, how to, you know, what to look for in colleges, what major he should do. Uh, and or I'm sitting across a person who's a nurse or who op owns a restaurant and, I'm, you know, we're just talking, we're just talking. And that's what's great about your local game store is at any moment in time, you can go on a Friday from anywhere and you can meet people from all walks of life. And you all have something in common, which is you like Magic the Gathering enough to be there Friday nights, uh, which is a lot. Uh, I know Friday nights, uh, my significant other is not always happy when I do that, but you know, I'm trying to get her into Magic and hopefully she'll be part of the channel uh, going on. But anyway, bye guys.